Hello, I'm Stephen Hill, JustMyPicks.com, and I'm going to be bringing you the 2012-2013 NFL Week 1 Prediction Show. We've got a lot in store, so I'm going to hop right in. First game of the week we have the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Football Giants at MetLife Stadium. This is a very big rivalry. For years, they've disliked each other. I think since the New York Football Giants have been winning championships, the, the rivalry has gotten that much bigger, that much more consistent. You have a lot of talent on each team. The Dallas Cowboys, the biggest question for them, can they mature enough and even make the playoffs? They have a lot of talent every year from top to bottom, and they do they seem to do nothing with it each year for the football giants. Can they can they go back to that 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 number one spot as they ended the year last year beating the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl? This is be their second Super Bowl in the last four years. And it's just it's one of those things where the Giants, will they have the Super Bowl hangover? Will they come out hungry? Will they come out wanting another ring? Will they come out satisfied for what they did last year? It's just a lot of a lot of key factors. I think from the get-go, the Giants have, have caught up with the Dallas Cowboys in the talent department. The defense for the Giants, they outmatched the defense for the Cowboys flat out. I understand that the Cowboys went out and spent money in free agency. They got Claiborne in a draft. All these different things that they went out and did. But on paper, you have to show me on paper before I see it. Um, you have to show me that you can do those things because for years, the Dallas Cowboys have been paper champions. The Dallas uh, Cowboys also, Jerry Jones has went out in public and, and basically said they're going to kick their rear ends, and he's guaranteeing that. So I'm, I'm looking at the Dallas Cowboys. Can you back up what your owner is saying? And I don't think that's going to happen in this game. I think the Dallas Cowboys are going to get hit in the mouth, and I think the Eli Manning and the Giants are going to beat them down pretty handily. And it's, it's so many things that the Giants have. They have better wide receivers. They have a better defense. They have a better quarterback. So I'm looking for the Giants to go ahead and win that solidly. The next game we have on tap, the uh, Indianapolis Colts taking on the Chicago Bears. Andrew Luck, this is his first game of his NFL career. Regular season game. The the It's a tough game to start uh, your NFL career versus the Chicago Bears because the Chicago Bears are on all cylinders. That defense, if Brian Erlacher is healthy and can play, that is a fierce defense with Julius Peppers, Tillman, and you got Lance Briggs also. It's just a fast, fast defense. I'm sorry, Andrew Luck. I love you to death. I think that you're going to be a great quarterback someday. But the Bears are too much. The Bears have Devin Hefster on special teams, Brandon Marshall, a number one wide receiver who they've never had since the Bears have been basically an organization, never had a number one receiver. So Jay Cutler has a big target to throw to. And if they're anything like they were in Denver with that relationship where – he throws up anything, Brandon Marshall catches it, it's going to be very hard to beat them um, in Soldier Field. I'm picking the Chicago Bears to pull off a close game versus the Indianapolis Colts. The next game we have on tap is the Atlanta Falcons taking on the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs have a new coach. They play hard for Romeo Cornell. It's, they have a lot of talent, but they underachieve a lot. I'm looking for the Atlanta Falcons with Roddy White, Julio Jones, Michael Turner, Tony Gonzalez, those boys, Matt Ryan, to go out and really dominate. There is no reason why this game should be close. They're on offense, the Falcons have five to six weapons. I just see two to three for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. The Atlanta Falcons have a statement they want to make this season. They want to go ahead and take control of that NFC South. It will be a perfect time with Drew Brees' team hampered by suspensions and injuries also. The Buccaneers are down. They're trying to make a bounce back year. And Cam Newton, he's trying to get to the top. So this will be the perfect year for the Falcons to make this shot to go as a number one seed in the playoffs. I'm picking the Atlanta Falcons to go ahead and beat the Kansas City Chiefs pretty handily. Moving on, the Eagles versus the Browns. This is a rematch from the preseason game. The Philadelphia Eagles, let's face it, it's do or die time. There's no more excuses. There's no more we can miss the playoffs. It's either Purdue or this team's getting destroyed, demolished. And it starts with Michael Vick and Andy Reid. This is a game that I'm looking so forward to. I want to see the explosive offense out of Philadelphia. I want to see the big plays from Michael Vick on his feet and throwing it. Deshaun Jackson, he has the speed to break any defense top off. And it's just going to be the Eagles. Can that defense come together and can they play solidly for four quarters and stop any run game, stop any pass game? They have the best defense in the league by far on paper and on the field. I'm picking the Philadelphia Eagles to take care of the Cleveland Browns pretty, pretty handily. Uh, moving on, we have the Saints and Redskins. The New Orleans Saints are affected by the suspension, as we all know, of Jonathan Vilma and some other players. Also, RG3 is a Redskin now. It's one of those things where RG3, this will be a statement game to come out and beat the Saints. Even though the New Orleans Saints are down a little bit, they still have Drew Brees. 
So I'm really looking forward to, can they really come out and do their thing versus the Washington Redskins? I don't think it's going to happen, even though they're going to be in New Orleans. I just think that it's too much, too early, too soon for the Saints to bounce back from this. I think Drew Brees will try to do too much uh, in absence of Sean Payton and try to make things happen too much. And I think that will end up affecting them in a, in a negative way. Um, the, the Redskins, they have a solid defense. RG3 has weapons in Pierre Garçon and Moss, and he has a couple of other things going for him. So if he can get that offensive line to block for him in that Shanahan offense where they run zone, where it's running back by committee and they can really do their thing, then I'm picking the Washington Redskins to win this game. Uh, Washington Redskins will win this in a close game. It won't be a, a blowout or anything like that. Next game we're moving on to are the St. Louis Rams taking on the Detroit Lions. Calvin Johnson will have a big day, mark my words. The, the Lions, Matthew Stafford, has the hand issue with the broken blood vessel in his non-throwing hand, but I don't think that's going to be a problem come game day. The Lions, can you stay disciplined? Can you play as a team for four quarters each game? Can you go without the penalties? Can you, can you show me that you can be the NFC North's top team? Well, that's what their goal is this season. Jim Schwartz and those boys have been fired up all preseason, no talk, all business, and they've been going about their business the right way. And Dominican Sue in that defense, it's nasty, physical, tough. They finally have a, a defense to match that offense, that high-powered offense. I want to see more consistency from that offense. I want to see more points from that offense. And I'm picking the Detroit Lions to blow the doors right up off the St. Louis Rams car in this football game. I'm picking the Lions to win that. The Patriots take on the Titans in Tennessee. This is a trap game for the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots, they have a tough, tough problem. They cannot protect Tom Brady for nothing. This whole preseason, Tom Brady has been on his back. He hasn't had time to throw the ball. He has a brand new offensive line that only one starter played from last year on this offensive line, really. So it's going to be interesting to see what Bill Belichick does. I know they made a couple of trades for some offensive linemen. But anywho, I don't think it's going to stop them. They have Gronk. They have guns. Uh, they have Hernandez, they have Wes Welker, they have all those weapons that they can go to. So I'm picking the New England Patriots to win this game in a close game. I think that Tom Brady will get it together in the in the first game of the season to get these guys on track and rolling because Bill Belichick and Tom Brady together, they're an awesome combination quarterback and coach. Moving forward, the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Neither one of these teams are going to be making the playoffs, let's face it. MJD not being there makes this game not even watchable. Basically, the Minnesota Vikings, they're, they're probably going to win this football game because of Adrian Peterson if he does play. But pretty much for the most part, I don't, I don't like Jacksonville to do anything this season. I don't like them to even win five games. So for the most part, this is going to be a laugher. Uh, if Adrian Peterson plays, if Adrian Peterson plays, I say the Vikings win this football game. If he doesn't, I'm picking the Jacksonville Jaguars to play this game. I mean, to win this game. Uh, moving on. The game of the week, in my opinion. The Bills take on the Jets. This is do or die for Rex Ryan and his team. Rex Ryan and his team have been preaching, oh, we're winning the Super Bowl, oh, we're doing this. But this year he said, no, we're not going to say that. We're just going to play this season out. The New York Jets are under so much pressure having Tim Tebow that Mark Sanchez, it's almost impossible for him to succeed in this situation. You have a backup in Tim Tebow who's bigger than your starting quarterback. So you have to, you have to appease your team also appease your fan base. I have a feeling that this game could get ugly for the Jets with their offense not being what it was. Uh, if, if their offense is what it was in the uh, special uh, preseason, it's going to be a very, very long day in uh, New York. The Buffalo Bills have an offense that is now second to none. They also have a defense, that young, solid defense anchored by Mario Williams. And you also have Fitzpatrick, who's coming into his own as a quarterback. So I'm liking... Actually, I'm liking the Bills in this game. I'm picking the Buffalo Bills with the upset special of the week to knock off the New York Football Jets at MetLife Stadium. It's going to be a great game. I like to see this defense versus defense mono. I think the Bills have a better defense, but the Jets have the better scheme and a better coach. Well, I'm picking the Bills to come out on top in that one. The Dolphins take on the Texans. The Dolphins recently have been trading players. They've been cutting players. They've been doing a lot of things lately that does mind blowers, scratches of the brain. So I'm picking the Texans in this one. The Texans will handle their business with Andre Johnson, Arian Foster, Matt Schwab, and get this done. Uh, moving on, the 49ers take on the Packers. 
the Packers in this one, it's an interesting game because the Packers cannot play defense. They've not shown me they can play defense this whole preseason. They haven't shown me last year that they can play defense. So I'm picking the 49ers to edge the Packers in a shootout in this one. I think the 49ers has what it takes. I think that defense is still hungry. I think that their head coach is hungry. I think Alex Smith is hungry, and he wants to let people know that he is a top quarterback. He will do that this season and show us that. Next game we have coming up, the Seahawks take on the Cardinals. The Cardinals, they basically ended their quarterback battle basically with a, with a hand off the skeleton. Neither one of these quarterbacks are good quarterbacks, let's face it. I'm picking the Seahawks to get this one. The Seahawks have Russell Wilson, the third round pick from Wisconsin. The guy, he's amazing, he's electric. Also, Marshawn, baby beast Lynch. It's, it's so many things that they have on this team that I'm thinking about moving forward. Can they make that next step and become the 49ers rival in this division? Because lately it's been a laugh for the 49ers have been all over all the teams in this division. So I'm looking for the Seahawks to really take it to um, the Cardinals in this game in a division matchup. And the last couple games we have are the Panthers and the Buccaneers. The Panthers and Buccaneers, these are two young teams on the rise. I like both of these teams very much. It's, it's, it's Cam Newton versus Josh Freeman. That's what it comes down to. The quarterback play. Will Josh Freeman make those mistakes that he made last year? Can he mature as a quarterback? Can he mature and make the right passes that he needs to make? And also, Cam Newton. Can Cam Newton continue his success from last year, from his rookie season, and really dominate? I'm picking the, uh, the Carolina Panthers in this game. I believe in Cam Newton. I believe in everything Cam Newton does. I think that Cam Newton has that will to win. He has Steve Smith. He has D'Angelo uh Williams and he also has Stewart in the backfield for him. So that 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 mention with Cam Newton being able to run the ball at will. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense isn't really healthy right now, so I'm picking Cam Newton to get this done in week one. Also, Steelers and Broncos. Steelers and Broncos, this is an interesting game because Peyton Manning is at the helm of the Denver Broncos and he is an assassin. He showed us during the preseason that he still has what it takes to be a quarterback in this NFL. And I think Indianapolis made a mistake by cutting him. And for the most part, the Steelers, they are what they are. They're the same football team every year. They're going to run the football. They're going to smash you in the mouth on defense. And they will try to bully you into a victory. Also, the, the Steelers' safety, Ryan Clark, will not be playing in this game because the game is in Denver. He has that illness with his liver, so that makes a big difference in this football game. I'm picking Peyton Manning to really go out and dominate on this team. I just think that the Steelers are getting old in the tooth on defense. It's only so many years uh, Palomaro can give you at a high level. It's only so many years that James Harrison can give you. And this defense, they need to rebuild. They need to restructure the way that they do things. And I think that this is going to be that first game where they really get exposed this year. I don't even think the Pittsburgh Steelers may make the playoffs this season. I think that they had a great run with Ben Roethlisberger. I think that they've had a great run um, overall for the last decade. And I think that it's just time to look forward to rebuilding. I think the Steelers will struggle a lot this season because of the injuries to Big Ben that he already has with the rotator cuff, plus James Harrison's injuries and Palomalo's injuries moving forward. It's just so many key factors in that that I think Peyton Manning will have the upper hand because he has the best team he's ever had since he's been in the NFL. He has six to seven targets each play, plus he has a defense with Vaughn Miller, Elvis Dumerville, Champ Bailey, all those guys. I'm picking the Denver Broncos in this one. It's going to be a pretty close game. The Bengals and the Ravens. This is going to be a smash mouth football game. It's, it's one of those things where the big brother's taking on a little brother in this situation. The Bengals have been the little brother for so many years that people expect them to just come out and lose this game. But I don't think that's going to happen on this night. I think that this night, the Bengals will get the best of the Baltimore Ravens. Everybody talks about how Ray Lewis is, is going to retire and Ed Reed's going to retire. They're old. That's not the case. I think that the Bengals' run game will get them out of the situation. I think that the, the, the Bengals have a lot of talent on offense. I think Andy Dalton and A.J. Green are coming into their own. I think that they're a solid wide receiver and quarterback tandem. I think they have what it takes and they can do what it takes to get the job done. I'm picking an upset um, in the Monday night game. Baltimore, I love them. I love Joe Flacco, Ray Rice. I don't think they've learned from last year not, not giving the ball to Ray Rice and, and basically being using that to play everything else. So I'm picking the Bengals to beat the Ravens in that game in the last game of the week. The Chargers take on the Raiders. The Raiders for years have been knocking on that doorstep, knocking on that doorstep, knocking on the doorstep, and nothing's happened. So I'm expecting at least them to give Denver a run for their money. 
I don't expect them to make the playoffs, but I do expect them to win this football game. The San Diego Chargers have been depleted. Let's face it, they lost everybody. Darren Sproles, they lost everybody. Vincent Jackson, they lost every weapon that they had. They're left with a couple of pieces, but I don't think Phillip Rivers is going to have what it takes. He's going to be good in fantasy because nobody's really going to be paying attention to them, so they're going to put up a lot of points. But I'm picking San Diego Chargers to lose this game to the Oakland Raiders. This is going to adjust my picks NFL uh, Week 1, 2012-2013 matchup. You can check us out on YouTube, YouTube backslash Just My Picks. You can follow me on Twitter, at Just My Picks. Check us out and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Leave comments. Let me know what you want to see next week. Let me know what you want to see on video, and we can make that happen. Check us out once again on YouTube backslash JustMyPicks.com. Also, click the link for Just My Picks at Twitter. Thank you very much, and follow us again.